What's up guys, Vulcan here. One thing before we get started, remember to ring that bell if you want to be notified whenever I go live with a new video or fire up the stream. But enough about that, let's talk games. I have been getting a lot of questions surrounding Wilson, where it is currently in the development pipeline, when beta will drop, and eventually when it's going to release. So to help with getting all that knowledge in one spot, I wanted to put a video together, a quick video, kind of a state of the game, if you will, that shows where Wilson is today, and then make a guesstimate of when we can expect to see a beta and eventual release date. So first things first, we know that the next news update will have some beta news. Wilson has said that in their previous one. Now, the previous one was last week, uh, which would put us around March 9th, so we can expect one in early April. Uh, they have a typical kind of month cadence for their news. Hopefully, we get something sooner, but we'll see. Now, their exact reference was, quote, we hope to provide some beta news, which means it's open for interpretation. They gave themselves a nice little out, and it may be pushed depending on development or whether or not they're ready to commit fully to a date. Now, our next big ticket item is the Trello roadmap, which they put together. It's a wonderful roadmap. It's been updated, which is fantastic, and it is linked below. Now, as we look through this, most things are green, which is great. It means it's completed. It means it's in the game. It's done. It's been reviewed. It's been checked. It's been through the, all the QA processes. It is as it will be when we see it. Dark blue means pending review from game designers, so it's fully developed and everything like that. It just needs the thumbs up or the thumbs down, or there's purple, which is in progress. So there really isn't anything out there that's still in the, quote, planned stage, or it's not underway in development at all. And I would imagine that their recent additions to the team over the new year has played a big role in that. Remember, they expanded their team, I think it was by 11 new people, which that makes a huge impact when it comes to delivering a project and hitting those deadlines. Next up is communication. Now, comparatively, Wilson is more talkative right now than they ever have been post Kickstarter. And signs like this are great, guys. They're so good when it comes to being a consumer and seeing a company talk more. It means that they're confident in their work. They have been setting things in stone that they can commit to. And typically, when you start seeing a dev studio chat about features or ramp up their communication in general, it is just about go time. So if we take these three things into consideration and the fact that the Trello roadmap is looking good in terms of things with a big green check mark, we are dangerously close to beta, guys. And I'm going to assume that we will see beta in early May, if not mid-late April. With their final things on the list, like the potion UI, uh, polish for beta creatures, and tweaking status ailments, those are small things, guys. Those are small potatoes. And... It's post world building, it's post critical systems. All of those things that make up the meat and potatoes of the game are done, implemented, checked off, count it. So keep that in mind. So if they're working on the small things, we should be seeing a release date, or not a release date, but a beta date extremely soon. And hopefully we're right. Early May, mid late April. Fingers crossed. Let's go. So that really is what we know about the Wilson development pipeline. They've put out very few things. They've talked about those things very few other than we will have a beta. It is coming at some point in time. We will release the game. It is coming at some point in time. But I got those questions all the time, so I wanted to kind of put everything together. These are the things that I look at, guys, and these are the things that I look for. My biggest thing is keeping up with the Trello roadmap. As things get checked green across the board, we're getting closer and closer to launch. And now that we're at a point where most stuff is green, you got to figure that we're getting extremely close to beta dropping. Now, before we wrap this one up, let's take a stab at release. We know they originally said 2019, which is still a possibility. We're in March, we're almost into April, so that leaves a roughly eight months left. It would be extremely late 2019 if they did decide to launch. I'm guessing more likely we're looking at a February 2020 official launch. If we compare this to other games in the genre, like Last Epoch, whose beta is aimed to go live in April 2019, with an April 2020, one full year uh, later, they're aiming to go, go live and release, I do believe Wilson will be out before that, right? Barring any major hiccups, which landed me in the February space. I don't think that's completely out of the question. I think what they're gonna do in beta is essentially what we're going to have in the final game and it's not going to be like we have in the pre-alpha so we're going to be whisked away into the release space really quickly but i want to hear from you guys what do you guys think about all this are these dates fair are they accurate am i reading this stuff correctly or is vulcan just crazy as hell and pulling straws and trying to figure things out 
Either way, I believe you. And guys, I will talk to you next time. See you later.